Hello everyone. To start my video, I would like to present myself. My full name is Daniela Condori Bejarano and I am 19 years old. Today, I will be showing you my focus project. First of all, let me ask you a question. Do you know how many hours I spent you using your cell phone? I'm going to talk about how we can improve our relation with our cell phones. The exact tax for us reports that on average a person spends a little more than 76,500 hours on their cell phones. Say time is specifically equivalent to 8.74 years according to the study. However, how can we use it to make our lives easier? I will present you some apps of Google that we can use to improve our lives. The first app is Google Calendar, which we find it in Google. We use it in order to have more organized our life. In this case, I will create an event from 8 p.m. to 9 p.m do my focus project if you have this app in your cell phone it will notify you when it's time to do something and that's all we can use it to organize it every day then in the quarantine the students and teachers met the wonderful Google Classroom that is an app we can find on Google too. I'm going to show you the classes that I was and how you can see here we have the classes and the homeworks that I did. For example, I did this homework and the coach gave me these instructions. Google Classroom is an interactive class schoolroom where you can present homework or you give homeworks if you are a teacher, sharing videos, links. After, we have Google Maps, which is an app that helps us to trace routes and see all the world on your cell phone. Here we have the app. We will look for the ubication of Focus Your Mind. We are going to go from my house to Focus your mind. And we have the root. In a car. Besides, Google has an app to do documents on team and online Google Documents. On Google Documents, we have templates that we can use and edit, for example, notes of our meeting, letters, a curriculum vitae, and here we have the documents that I did before. For example, it is my focus essay. And I can share my document to the people only can see, do comments, or change some parts of my document. It is perfect to work in team. There are many possibilities to do homework online and in team. For example, we have Google Slides, Google Sheets, and Google Forms. 
We will open Google Slide. That is an app to do presentations online. I'm going to show you this template. Oh, you can see this in place, it is already done. So we only have to do the modification that we want. Let's go to Google Sheets. In Google Sheets, we can do many things, but in this case, I will show you a list of homeworks as the other templates, we can modify what we want, add more homeworks, check the homework that you already done, or change the format of the list. Also, we will be able to share the people only can see, make comments, or even change some things of your job. Then we have Google Forms to create an online form as easily as creating a document. Analyze responses with automatic summaries. See charts with response that data update in real time. Finally, we have Google Drive where we have all our documents that we did in Google Slides or Google Documents. Also, we can save all the documents, carpets that we did before. Also, we can save all the things that you have in the cloud. Besides, since here we can create more Google documents, sheets or slides, Google Drive is a file synchronization and hosting service developed by Google. The service allows it, its users to store files in the cloud, sync files between devices, and share files. As you can see, each user has 15 gigabytes for free, and it will be paying to ask for more space. Finally, I will show you three more apps. Google Books. Google Books is a Google service that searches the full text of books that Google digitizes, converts the text using optical character recognition, and stores them in its online database. Also, we have Google Finance. The service features business and company headlines for many corporations, including their financial decisions and major news events. The file information is like flash, based on the stock price charts that contains the ticks of major news events and corporate. Finally, we have Google Developers. Google Developers is a place where you can learn new Google tools with your community. Google developers organize DevFest every year and you can find a DevFest near you. Google developers groups explore over 1,000 chapters across 140 countries and meet like-minded developers from all levels and backgrounds. With Google developers, you can connect, learn, and grow. With that, I finish my presentation, hoping that you use these wonderful apps of Google to make your life more organized and easier. Thank you.